Hi, today I'm going to show you my 3D design and printed hand powered fan. It doesn't require any motor or any batteries, just hand power. So you can see it gets up to speed pretty quickly. And all I'm doing is tapping my finger up and down like that. So I'll hold it up closer so you can see it in motion. And the fan blades are adjustable, so you can basically adjust them to whatever preference you want. I actually quite enjoy this because it's quite a fun little game to see which, um, which configuration gives the most wind and so on. Now this is actually backwards, I'm doing it backwards towards the camera. Typically the user would uh, have this facing them and then do it like this. And uh, it's actually pretty cool. Now, I actually went for a few design models. This was the first one I made, and this was just a proof of concept out of cardboard. It did work, um, I've actually broken it since then, but it, it worked and I could spin it. It was pretty poor, but it gave me a proof of concept on the general design. Now, disclaimer, I got this general idea of the tapping motion for the fan from another YouTuber, a Japanese YouTuber. Now, I saw his videos like, I think two or three years ago, and he makes wooden fans, and they have this um, finger motion to spin them and I thought at the time wow that's really good but I'm not very good at woodwork well now I have a 3d printer and I can do some basic design I made this one now I also had some other designs like this one the problem with this one was that it couldn't stand on its own it always tips over um, and it's facing away from the user so that wasn't much good then I came up with another one which was like this and it just clips together the reason why I made it like that is because I wanted to avoid overhangs during printing so I made it as two parts that clip together but in the end, this is the design that I ended up going with. Now, if you're curious to see how fast this thing can spin, I have my fan here and we're just going to point the fan at this and I'm just going to hold this piece here away so that it doesn't get stuck on anything. So let's start with the lowest speed. Oops. Let me find a way of... There we go. That's kind of fast, but it's not super fast. Let's go up to our next option. It's a bit quicker. Let's go up to our top speed. That's pretty fast. Now for anyone that's downloaded this and printed it for themselves, I'm going to show you now how it goes together. It's pretty simple, but I'll show you anyway. Okay, so you should have eight propeller bits and what you want to do is just start by putting those into your little hub here. Now you might have little strands of plastic um, depending on how well your printer handles this kind of small print with um, supports, but you can just squeeze them in. I won't put these in in any specific color order, just do it randomly. Some of them might be tighter than others. They're all a generally quite a tight fit, which is good because it means you can adjust the angle easily. If you can't fit them in, if they're really too tight, just give a very light sanding around the edge. Okay, so we've loaded up our propeller. Oops, let me just get that bit of plastic off. Okay, there we go. So we've loaded up our propeller. Now we've got our base here slide this through and that will just stand there now this one you've got a bit which is centered and a bit which is off centered now it doesn't matter which way you put this around as long as the centered bit is on there now depending on whether you have this on the right or the left will put a bias towards an easier spin in a certain direction so you can experiment with that so we get our finger piece here slide this little thing through and we'll put that on the off center hole just push that in there, it's kind of tight. And then this is the bit where you have to be careful joining this to this. Now this pole is only around three millimeters, uh, maybe a tiny bit more with the shell. So you have to be very careful when you're joining these parts that you don't snap this beam. So push it on there and there you go. Your fan is ready to spin. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are one of the people who downloads this and prints it and makes it, leave a comment and let me know what you think.
Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe.